Welcome to Acuity Brands Lighting's Lighting Fundamentals Course for Professionals. Our objective is relatively straightforward. Lighting is a technical subject, and we want our associates to be among the most knowledgeable in the industry. The purpose of this course is not to make us experts overnight. In fact, for those of us who elect to pursue a career in lighting, the learning will never stop. Rather, our objective is to provide a relatively extensive overview of pertinent subjects to introduce you to the art and science of lighting, demystify some of the terminology, establish a proper framework for future learning, and establish a baseline understanding of what those around us may be doing. We're going to be covering a great deal of material. Much of it will be review, but for most of us, there will be considerable new information as well. In this regard, it is our desire that you simply relax, pay attention, and absorb what you may. If we succeed only in exposing you to the information while providing a framework for future learning, we will have succeeded. Note that the information contained in this program is always accessible and may be reviewed at any time. As we can see here, the information has been organized into five basic categories pertinent to our industry and the products that we develop, manufacture, and market. We'll cover light and vision, followed by a segment that discusses how light and other radiation can impact our health. The lighting segment covers subjects that relate specifically to lighting, such as metrics and norms. And finally, we'll conclude with a segment that will give us an appreciation for the many ways that lighting is used to great effect in lighting design. Most of us will find ways to apply this knowledge in our personal lives as well. Our first module discusses the nature of light, how we use it, the metrics we use to define and reference it, and how it is calculated. Let's take a look. Light is energy. Energy exists in a number of different forms, one of which is radiant. Radiant energy applies to telecommunications, thermodynamics, and vision, among other things. Our interest is naturally in human vision, but it's important that we establish an understanding that light is fundamentally a form of energy. Energy can change forms. In other words, electrical energy can be converted to radiant as electric light sources attest. But conversely, photovoltaic cells convert radiant energy to electric. Generators convert mechanical energy to electrical, and electric motors convert electrical energy to mechanical. All types of conversion are possible, and no energy is ever created or destroyed in the process. This is known as the law of conservation of energy. For any system of energy conversion, the amount of energy that goes into the process equals the amount coming out. However, this is not to say that the conversion is 100% efficient. In fact, the overall efficiency is typically rather poor. Take an incandescent lamp, for instance. It's something of an extreme example, but it's familiar and serves to make the point. For every watt of electrical energy that goes into creating light, only about 15% actually emerges as light energy. The balance goes into creating infrared radiant energy, or the heat we experience when in close proximity, and that may be unwanted. Acuity Brands Lighting is primarily concerned with the conversion of electrical energy to light, but we must always be aware of the fact that we are dealing with energy and sometimes that can have consequences we wouldn't necessarily anticipate. We'll try to share a few examples as we work our way through the material. Presumably we've all heard of the particle wave duality of light. Light is interesting in that it behaves both like a particle and a wave. By that, we mean that the mathematics and conceptual models we use to predict its behavior fall into two distinct buckets. The model we use depends on the aspects we're interested in. Though light propagates without the need for a transfer medium, such as water or air, it does exhibit characteristics that we associate with wave behavior in general. Some of the key observations are that waves tend to radiate outwardly, thereby transferring their energy. And when two waves intersect, they add and subtract as we might imagine. We call it constructive interference when they add to one another and destructive interference when they offset or subtract from one another. Noise-canceling headphones provide an excellent example. These are devices that sample the noise in an environment and cancel it out by computing the complementary waveform and adding that to whatever we may be listening to. Let's take a closer look at waves. 